Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about top N filter in Power BI. It is a kind of a top keyword in the SQL Server. If you want to see the specific number of uh, values on the top of a visualization, that time you need to go for a top N keyword. So it looks like a top keyword in SQL Server. If you see, so there is a keyword top. So top 10 or top 20 or top something like that, whatever the value you want. So in the SQL Server, you will use a top uh, keyword based on some uh, order buyer, uh, we can use it. So select uh, uh, top uh, 10 uh, star uh, from employee table. So order by department number or order by salary or something like that. So similarly, so the same uh, functionality works in the Power BI as well in terms of top. So in terms of N, I can use 10, 20, 30, 40 or whatever the value I want. So let me show you how to use this top keyword in any of the visualization in the Power BI. So before going to use that in the visualization, let me load some data for my Power BI pages. So how to load the data is get data. SQL server. So type the server. My server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Click on OK. So once I click on OK, it shows the list of available databases in my server. So I have around like 10 plus databases out of this. So I am going to select AdventureWorks Data Warehouse. As I have a, a more number of rows in that particular uh, warehouse database, it is provided by Microsoft. So let's select the list of tables which you are planning to use. Select a DIM product, DIM product category, DIM product subcategory, and uh, some uh, fact tables as well. So I will be selecting the fact internet sales. So once you select the fact internet sales, you can see some sample data around in the right side. If you see, this is the sample data I have. So I have more number of rows, but I can see uh, based on the size, preview size of the uh, Power BI. So even for other tables as well, I can see the sample data in the right side if if i want to change the uh, data or column names if i want to change the column names or kind of uh, some customizations so i can do with the help of the edit button so we can do that so let's not concentrate on this uh, now so let's concentrate on the top now let's click on load so once you click on load so based on the size of the data it takes a while to load actually So now it is loading if you see that. Yeah, it is done. It just loaded. You can see in the field section if you see that. So these are the list of tables that have been loaded in my uh, Power BI window. So I can use these tables for my visualizations as of now. So let me show you how to use those for our uh, chart purpose, visualization purpose. So let's take any of the visualization. So for time being, I'm going to take pie chart here. So this is the uh, pie chart. So let's select this. So everybody know that how the pie chart uh, behaves. So here for this visualization, so let me select uh, one a column from the fact table. That is a numerical column and one column from the dimension table. That is a, a string column. So let me select some sales amount. Ideally, yes, we'll, we'll be selecting this column only for all our examples. Now let's select uh, one column from the dim product category. Just I'll show you. Let me select the English product category. So if you simply see that, so let me maximize this. So here I have only three values. Okay. So I don't think I need to apply top keyword because I have only three values. So where I have like a bikes is a major uh, contribution and uh, clothing is uh, less contribution and accessories are in the middle between clothing and bikes. So here I don't need any a top keyword to apply for my visualization. Okay, so for this kind of examples, we don't need. So let me select other column and I'll apply the top keyword there. So let me you know, change this. So instead of uh, English uh, product category, I'll select some other column from the other dimension. So let me go to the dim product. So there, let me select English product name. So this is the English product name. Yeah, let me select this so if you see this yes now here i might need if you see this so i have many values many products are there it is more than around like a 
f40 50 values are there here also this side also here i'll not able to identify uh, the proportionality of the particular products in the uh, sales so that time if the uh, business people ask if you you if you if the business want only the top 10 values so that time you can give it so where to apply the top so here we have a three two sections so the one is the fields under the field section itself let's little scroll down you will be seeing a filters okay so in the filters you have a english product name so you want the list of top 10 products in the sales so let's expand this arrow little down and once you expand this you will get it filter type as basic filtering it means that all so that time let's select what are all the uh, top you want what are all options you want let's select that so i want the top n let's select the top n once you select the top n it will ask you n is nothing but actual general number you need to specify top how much you want i want top 15 uh, products which are participated in the sales so let me make it as 15 so on what basis do you want to uh, sort on what basis do you want the 15 uh, uh, sales so i want the top 15 based on the sales amount based on the participation in the sales so let me select the uh, sales amount or let me drag and drop the sales amount to, to sales amount into the buy value column let me drag and drop it i just dragged the uh, sales amount in the buy value column so what are all the things why we have done so first the filter type is top n this is the one and the show items as a top 15 and buy value as sales amount so once you are done with these settings so let's apply the filter there is option apply filter so let's apply the filter so once you apply it so you will get the top 15 based on the sales amount you can count it even it shows you only 15 these are the list of products so earlier i got around 30 plus products now i have only top um, 15 so if the business asks us to uh, give la top 5 still you can give the top 5 so how to give the top 5 simply change here as a top 5 and apply filter now if you see this the top 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you'll see in the top 5 filters in the chart so this is how we apply a top 5 filters for the visualization in power bi so if you don't want to see that result in the pie chart you can select so some um, this one the stacked column chart or where whatever the chart you want so now you can see i simply a uh, selected the uh, stacked uh, column uh, chart so it automatically converts my pie chart automatically converts into the stacked column chart and it will show you the list of uh, top five products which are doing the sales if you want to show some other chart you can simply select that particular chart so this is how we apply top n filter in the power bi so it looks like similar to the top keyword in the sql server but as yes, here we don't need to write a big big queries we simply need to change some properties in the filter section so what are all the things we have done it is in the filter section only so not in the original section so if you want again still all for this particular chart you simply change this to basic filtering okay so now let's apply the filter it means that it will display you all select all so now it will get all the charts if you see that it automatically converts now into all so you have a, a scroll as well this is the products list of products you have in your uh, dimension and fact tables these are all you can even drag uh, to the right by using this cursor so this is how we do the top end filtering in the power bi so that's it so thank you for watching so if you have any questions in the power bi or msbi please write a mail to training to sql at the rate gmail.com so i'll try to answer all your questions also you can post your questions in the comment section of the youtube that's it Please subscribe to my channel for more technical and updated videos for all our interview questions and all. Thank you. Thank you for watching.